morning tubers well it's Wednesday morning um, got up it's quite early actually it is in the morning uh, that's good for me isn't it not working today I think it's Joe's birthday don't know but he didn't text me for work so maybe tomorrow and then next week if we get this job done I'm going back over to Pugs and help him finish another wall and put a couple of doors up um, been on the tubes seeing who's put what up uh, Redneck Rickham put a video up. Lots of fans, buddy. You got lots of fans in that little case. I don't know. I still don't understand the thing of having such a little case. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. Honestly, maybe for space. I suppose for space. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it seems to be working great, doesn't it? Um, yeah, and it's quite fast getting on the internet. Pretty quick, wasn't it? it loaded really quick, like my one does. Uh, M13. Uh, he put another video up. A little bit of a rant video, talking of uh, talking of about Windows and his wife, and saying that she was a little bit, I don't know, just not quite there. I don't know. Good job. Uh, well, let's let's just hope she don't look at it, mate, because you right give her a right going over on there, didn't you? You really did. Um, Mark Freeman, uh, keep crashing cars there. I mean, I don't know. You got through a few really nice cars now. Maybe you want to, uh, maybe you want to try a tank next. Get a tank down there, buddy. I'm sure you can get older one. That'd be quite good to see. Master Milo, he's put a video up. He's got a website, nice new website now. Uh, been over and had a look. Yeah, it's quite good. Quite like that idea. Well, I've actually got a website myself. Don't know if anyone's been to see it, but yeah, I have. Uh, you can find it in the link on my page. Um, who else put one up? Vlogging life. Well, says you might be unemployed again soon, eh? You you know you're saying that they were trying to get rid of it by the end of the the end of the month and that. Well, you could always go back to selling contraband cigarettes, couldn't you? Eh? Hey, you could do that. Make make a nice living, especially if you get the ones that the duty's already been paid on. I suppose you can sell them quite legally, can you? I don't know. If the duty's paid on them, don't see why not. Well, we've got to have a license. I don't know. Um, got a PM uh, from who the hell is it from? Uh, I think it, oh B6 Macman Two. Nice plow truck, buddy. I did have a look at your video. Lovely plow truck. You should uh, you should send me that as a link to one of the other videos. Send it as a video response, and uh, I'll put that up. That's a lovely truck. It sounded beautiful. It really did. Nice plough truck. It's good that you're looking after it and uh, keeping her on the road. It's very nice. Uh, video responses. Um, Redlining, redneck. Uh, that guy. He always puts up some some great videos. I just love his style. I really do. He doesn't hold back with any of his words. He really doesn't. You know, if you want to go and see him, he's going to be in the video responses on some of the other films. You can find his link there. Check him out. Yeah, sweet truck, bud. That's a nice truck. You did, don't think you said how much you paid for it. Um, what else have we got? Oh, yeah, we got a weird one came through, and it's from 111-222-333-111. And uh, it's about Hoover's, well, not Hoover, it's a, a rainbow something or other one he's got. He said he paid $15 for it. Well, I wish I could find one like that for $15. The old Trouble and Strife would be right happy with that. She really would. She really needs a new Uber, and they're so expensive, they really are. Um, Big Red, well, what can I say, mate? The man mountain himself, eh? Yeah, <laughs> that's a really eerie vid, so I love those ones. You, you seem to get the light just right at the right time of the day, and the camera angle when you're shooting the gun, it just, it, that's all you need. It's like perfect, it really is. That makes me laugh every time. The man mountain and his guns, really good. And then... Uh, one Irish Mick, yeah, Happy New Year, bud. Um, yeah, I do watch your stuff. Yeah, it's quite entertaining. Uh, yeah, he's all the way from Ireland, if you didn't know, and he does speak with an Irish accent, and he's uh, he's quite a funny lad, actually. He's got some, some quite good videos up. And like I said, you can go and find all those in the other videos. They're all tagged as video responses, so you can go and have a look, and then you can watch their video, go find their site and sub to them if you want, can't you? Anyhow, I've got to, uh, anyhow, here we go again. Um, I got to go out. I got to go and see somebody. I haven't been to see him for a long time. I got to go and see him. So, uh, pay a little visit. 
um, I don't know, I'll take you along. Right then, tubers, I'm on my way out to see that buddy of mine. Like I said, I ain't seen him for a while, so I thought I'd, uh, as it's Christmas and the new year, I'd pop out and see him. Um, yeah, yesterday did do a lot. I don't know what you look like up to. I just lounged around all day, made that video, I put that up for New Year's Eve. That was good fun. That was good. Um, yeah, I just watched YouTube a lot. And I'll tell you what I came across. Um, there's a, a show in the UK, and it's actually on YouTube. The whole first season is on there, and I think there's eight series. Um, I expect some of you UK guys have seen it. Uh, maybe you could put the exact name what it is, you know, in the comments, and then maybe everybody else can see it. I can't remember what it was now, and I'll have to go and try and find it again myself. But it was actually called Strippers. Now, not women stripping, it was about cars, right? And what it is, there's two teams, and the teams consist of, like, one one salesman, car guy, right, who does a bit of mechanic in, and a mechanic, and... Uh, it, it's all set like around a couple of scrap yards, uh, well, like breaker yards. And what they got to do, the, the art of the game is, they got given a budget, depending on what vehicle they got to go and find. And they got to go out and they got to buy that vehicle. Now, if they got a thousand thousand pounds, they could either spend three hundred pounds or they could spend a whole thousand, depending if they want to get a better one or whether they they can get a good deal. Then they got to bring that vehicle back, strip the bloody thing to bits, sell all the parts off it get themselves into profit and then at the end whatever's left goes into crusher and uh, that goes as scrap money into their pocket as well uh, and at the end of the game whoever's got the most money after they've settled out you know the, the thousand bucks or whatever they spent is the winner what a wicked wicked show it really is i tell you what i came across it i, I watched the first one and I was hooked. I sat there all day, watched all eight of them. It was freaking brilliant. I don't know what you lot think about it, but you know, if there's any of you UK boys or anyone else come across it, like I said, you know, put the link in a, in a comment there or something so everybody can find it because I probably won't be able to find it myself again. So I don't know exactly what it's called, Strippers UK or something, but really good. Anyhow, I'm getting near where I got to go, so uh, I'll speak to you lot again in a minute. Right then, tubers, I'm home now. I've had a couple of beers actually. Um, what else are we going to do? Tea. It's tea time. Something to eat. Now I'm making. Uh, I'm going to make some burgers. Yeah, we were going to have this pork. Do a pork roast, but where's the boy? And his girlfriend. And his girlfriend. So we're not going to cook a big meal tonight. So I decided I'm going to have a burger because I like burgers. Everybody likes burgers. I'm going to pan fry it with a bit of cheese and I'm going to put a little bit of a spin on it. It's going to be a seafood burger. Now, here's something funny. My cat is going absolutely mad because she smelt the shrimp. So I think I might treat her and give her a little shrimp and see what she says. Hey, eh? Dinks. Dinky. Do you want some shrimp? Do you want some shrimp? Do you? Do you want some shrimp? Hey, eh? Do you want some shrimp? Right, let's get her out. Let's get a shrimp out of here. And we give her a shrimp, eh? I don't know if she's going to eat it. She can smell them and she's been going absolutely mad. She really has. Hang on, let me see if I can get hold of one. There we go. It has got a tail on it. Look. Yeah. Look. So, should we give her one and see what she says? Hang on, I'm, gonna, I'm messing around with the camera a minute. It might be a bit dodgy. All right, there we go. All right, Let's see what she's gonna do. Oh, do you like that? What do you think? Is that good? Oh, no. Is that good? Oh yeah, she likes that. Why she eats the tail? Oh, she's gonna eat the tail, I think. I don't know. She's, I don't know, she's alright. Try it, make tiny pieces for her. No, she's fine, look. She's right into that. Is that good, Dinky? Oh, she likes the shrimp. Eat her up then. Oh, she likes that. 
Well, there you go. You see me cat now. That's uh, actually her name is Smokey, because she's like that sort of smoky colour. But she was so tiny when we got her, I, I called her Dinky, like Dinky in the brain. She's like the Dinky Dinks, but there you go. Anyhow, so I've sort of given you an idea of what we're going to have. Well, what I'm going to have. What are you going to have, love? Grilled cheese. Oh, she's having grilled cheese. She's not really into burgers out of a pan, but I like them. If you cook them enough, they're really good. Um, so, look, I'll show you when I get it together. I'm putting a bit of a spin on a normal hamburger, okay? So I'll show you when I get it all done. <coughs> right then, tubers, I've got the old dirty burgers going. Actually, they're not dirty burgers. This is going to be a seafood burger. Look, I'm just going to hand the camera over to the old Trouble and Strife, Trouble and Strife here. And uh, she's going to do like, well, one of the first camera holds. And let's see if she gets it right. If she doesn't, well, then she's a moron. Anyhow, but we see. <laughs> Actually, she, yeah, okay, we won't go there. Right, I'm going to hand her over. Right, now, point it down at that, right? Can you see that? Yep, you got perfect. It? Right, okay, what I've got here is I've got some shrimp, and it's mixed up with mayonnaise and... Uh, ketchup. Ketchup. So it's like a seafood dip. Gross. Right? That's what seafood dip is. It's only mayonnaise and ketchup, right? Gross. So we're going to put a little bit on this one, look. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Hang on. Let's get all that nice shrimpy shrimp on there, okay? It's going to be lovely, this is. It's going to be really good. And it's healthy as well. It's very healthy for you, yeah? Because it's only seafood, yeah? Look at that. Look. Look how good that looks. It's like one of those mushroom melt things but it's got no mushrooms it's got seafood instead you know make sure we get, got to get the sauce on there look we have lots of that nice sauce hang on there oh maybe a little bit more there you go right okay now let's see if we can get the lids on these i've slightly toasted these as well Look at the lid on there, look at that. Look at all that goodness, look. Isn't that nice? Look. Look at that, eh? Look. There. Oh, that looks just gorgeous. Here, have it back. Well, there you go, tubes. What do you think of that? That is, uh, <laughs> let me show you, look, look how nice that looks, look. Hey. That's a seafood burger, seafood cheese burger. Well, I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna eat that because I'm bloody starving. Um, well, that's my spin on a burger. So I will talk to you tomorrow and bye bye.